Hey guys, welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. The beautiful morning here. Uh, it's excuse the, the tired look. Um, and y'all, I don't want to. I don't want to harp on it. Uh, I just want to explain it. Uh, first of all, happy. Well, for me, it is Happy Memorial Day, and. Uh, Today is a day to um, be thankful, to be thankful for the people that sacrifice their lives so that we can live the life that we live, um, so that we can have free choices and um, freedom of speech and go and do the things that we all love to do. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the biggest sacrifice that anybody could make. And there are families out there that don't have sons or fathers or brothers or mothers or sisters or aunts or uncles or, you know, there's people that aren't with us anymore because they chose to sacrifice their life to fight for our country. So, um, there is that and that's, you know, that's, it's a, it's a big deal to me. Um, and my husband's a veteran and, uh, I have a lot of clients that are, you know, that are, that are veterans. Um, and, and so, you know, you get to hear the, my grandfather fought in wars. Um, and so of course I'm fortunate enough to have kept them, um, and, uh, have these people in my life. But, uh, the other fortunate thing for me is that, uh, I've been able to be educated about what it takes and, uh, the ultimate sacrifice that some do make. So, uh, it is a day that I am, uh, very aware and very thankful uh, every step that I take today, I'm thankful for the people that made that possible. Um, also, prayers going out to all of the people in Kentucky that were affected um, last night by a massive tornado. Um, and there have been so many people that have been affected by the storm season this year. and. Y'all, that is why I look so tired. It has been a season of, you know, just last night, for example, I went to bed early. I thought I'm going to get me some really good rest. Um, you know, my body's tired. My mind is tired. And I went to bed and lo and behold, you know, severe thunderstorm warning, which in the South, we know that severe thunderstorm warnings turn into tornado watch, tornado warning. And so, therefore, um, I was up. I was up watching Ryan Hall, y'all, and um, and watching this terrible, tragic event um, unfold for so many people um, in the South. So, we are fine here. Uh, no tornadoes. Uh, no, the thunderstorms actually even missed us. Uh, they were the light show was quite amazing, and, and the thunder was unreal pretty loud, um, you know, pretty scary when it's dark. And for someone who doesn't, you know, live in the South, and I know all you Southerners, you can just skip past this. It's not whining, it's not, you know, it's just, I'm not from here and it's it's different. And a lot of my viewers aren't from here. So, um, you know, I try to share my experience as someone who is a transplant into the South and it is not for the faint of heart, you guys. <laughs> um, so, anywho, that's why I'm tired, but just please send your prayers um, and thoughts to, to all of the people that were affected um, by these massive, massive tornadoes um, last night. I'm out, headed to go do morning chores. Um, flip you guys around. Uh, I just looked at the garden and thought, oh, there's a whole nother patch of green beans that I need to check. but. Um, the garden is full and voluptuous and lovely, uh, and a hot mess, but, um, I am headed out this morning to do morning chores. Oh boy. Welcome to the South. And the ever constant foggy camera lens, um, because it is humid and it is hot. Yesterday was a hot day, you guys. Uh, so basically the first thing that I'm doing this morning is I'm going to feed the dogs and then I need to get the horses bumped over one. Um, so that entails 
for this particular day, I've got most of the fences up, but for whatever reason, my skitter brain forgot to fence around that fire pit. And I always fence around the fire pits for my horses. Um, so I need to fence around that fire pit and then Miss Velvet is gonna jump over to here and everybody's gonna jump one. And what that entails is it entails me moving all of their fly blankets and their fly masks and more importantly, all of their water troughs. So um, all of their water troughs need to get moved, uh, scrubbed and moved to their new pastures. Uh, which is not a huge deal, but it is time consuming. So, uh, good morning, Miss Daisy. So anyway, let's get to that and uh, get the dogs fed first. And also you guys, um, I get to work today. I thought I saw a chicken out. I get to work today. So today's gonna be a little bit broken up for us, but uh, we're going to see what all we can get done. I have a full day of work, so I'm not sure if it's going to be more than chores. Hopefully we'll be able to get in the garden today. We will see. Rescue's enjoying her morning egg. They were quick today. I couldn't get them. Couldn't get the camera out to video them. Oh my goodness. Look at the dew drops on that kale you guys holy cow it's beautiful I don't know what it is with chickens and water. They love it when I dump the water troughs. And they've got clean, fresh, beautiful, freshly scrubbed waters. I scrubbed both the chicken waters yesterday. But man, you dump a water trough and they are on it. <laughs> chickens are goofy, you guys. If you don't have chickens, um, you know, they, they say that they are the, uh, chickens and goats are the gateway to homesteading. Um, yeah, chickens are great, they're funny. heavier than that, so. it still so okay um let's get Josie's fly mask moved and fly blanket and she's going just on the other side here Other thing that I will do is I will go ahead and uh, seed this pasture. This is the pasture that Gracie was in. And Gracie's now moving to this pasture. Uh, and so I will go ahead and seed this pasture. And this is the pasture that I seeded last week. And they probably won't see 
these pastures, you know, again, until it'll probably take, I'm going to say at least a couple months um, before they see these pastures again. So we seed behind them um, and hopefully someday we won't have to seed behind them. But right now our pastures are so poor. We're trying to build up our, I just got lost to where I was at. Um, so I'm moving hay, uh, blankets and stuff. So um, our pastures are, you know, really quite poor. And so we're um, attempting to reseed and lime and do all of the things. Just a second. There we go. Do all of the things in rotational grazing um, to build up our to build up our soil. So we're letting the horses eat it all the way down, um, and then coming in behind them and reseeding um, with orchard grass for the summer. In the winter, I did last winter. I did winter wheat. Um, and this year for the summer we're doing orchard um so fingers crossed we'll we'll see how it goes we're um taking advice from the people that have lived there here their whole lives that hay and um know a lot more than we do uh but for right now this is what we're doing we're rotationally we're heavily rotationally grazing um and coming in and seating behind them. Dave, you're in the video a lot today. Well, good morning, Miss Lily. How's the barn? I thought I saw Miss Grace standing in front of her fan. Oh, no. She was standing in front of her fan earlier. Coming in the side gate. It's dark in here. Good morning. I need the hot wire. I tell people this all the time, but this is how I get my steps in. I just left the barn, the side gate, which is down there, and came to this pasture all the way to the other side of the property and realized that I need to turn the fence off. So back down I go, all the way down, there, to turn the fence off so that I can work on it. We use, um, on this side of the property, we use a solar powered electric fence. It doesn't hit super hard. This is really interesting, you guys. So I told you, that I just reseeded this from Gracie. This is last week I reseeded this. So, and that little square there, that's my fire pit that I fenced off. But this right here, you can, there's a distinct line. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. The left-hand side was reseeded last week. The right-hand side was reseeded 10 days before that. So the left, the right-hand side, the right-hand side has had more time 10 more days to grow than that that's all it takes in the south you guys and <laughs> Ooh, i don't like walking in tall grass look at the volunteer sunflowers that's where my compost pile was okay i hate walking in tall grass and just my tennis shoes all right so just an old solar powered fence charger I'm leaving that down to remind me to turn it on. And back we go. Okay, and after all of that, I decided not to connect it <laughs> to the hot wire because I feel like my horses respect the hot wire enough that, you know, this is just, I'm basically just kind of creating this as a barrier saying, hey, don't be stupid and run into the fire pit. Um, and there's good grass on both sides of it. So after all that, I didn't even connect it. Um, but you know, that's, that's 
part of farming, you guys. It's part of uh, living on any property of any size. We just go with the flow. Can I just say thank you to the powers that be for my raised bed garden? You know who you are. Okay, so you guys don't worry. And have to uh, get your blood pressure up. I'm not gonna forget to turn on the fence. It's done. I won't be chasing horses this afternoon. <laughs> Oh, I think Miss Billie Jean is in heat. She's very talkative lately. All right, you guys, let's get you out. Now, everybody, I want you to know that the order is going to change. We are moving pastures today. So the order that you have been going out for the last seven days is not the order that you're gonna be going out today. Nobody panic, you'll all go outside. I will not forget anybody, okay? water trough is pretty near done. And we're gonna switch on that and button up this pasture all together. So we have Velvet and Josie on this side. Okay. Get my hose put away and start the next one. Oh, whoops. Get that water up. I told you, don't panic. I'm coming. Everybody will get to go out. We just have a new order. Miss Grace, you're next. Oh, there's a reason. There's a reason why we call him the bad boy. He has no patience. Anytime you change anything, he has a complete breakdown. Like he can't handle it. Come on, sister. Oh my word. I'm here. It's your turn. Come on. Okay. Everybody's out. Got Jose and Belv over there on the left. And then uh, Miss Maggie. And Chance. And of course, Grace. Uh, and I know, for those of you who are new here, uh, you're going to say there's no food there for Chance and Grace. I'm aware of that. They're... Uh, that is completely on purpose. Chance and Grace are um, Cushing's and diabetic horses. And uh, they, I like to give them the experience of going out to pasture, but I, they do not need the grass. Um, so when we had, we actually had the vet out last week and I had him look at how I was grazing them. And uh, he was like, no, this is perfect because they get to enjoy the breeze and the sunshine and all of the benefits of being outside. Um, on pasture and they can nibble and it makes them feel like they're getting you know the grass but there's there's no nutrients and there's there's no you know and for them a lot of nutrients are bad grass equals sugar which is bad um, so that is why it's intentional that they are at the end of the rotation after all of the grass has been eaten so they can go outside but they don't have the ill effects of eating green grass so that's that. I'm going to um, I'm going to go get my seed and get that pasture seeded really quick. I have 15 minutes before I need to go to work, so I'm going to try to get that pasture seeded. And um, I need to fill up Grace's water yet. It's already scrubbed, uh, and I'd like to get breakfasts um, out. It's not imperative that I get breakfast out, but I'd like to. Um, I can do that in between dogs, so after my first dog I can come out and do breakfast if I have to, but um, I'd like to get them all breakfast. But for now they all have new pastures that they're discovering, so they're all very occupied, and as you can see, 
only Josie was the only one that wanted um, her fly stuff on today. So everybody else opted to go discover and not get new fly stuff today. Okay, I got her reseated. Not that you can tell. Um, but note to self, this is mint. This is wild mint. It's growing tall here. The horses won't eat it. The cows won't eat it. Uh, sheep won't eat it. I don't know if goats will eat it. I haven't tried yet. But when I get off work today, I'm going to come out here and pull this mint. And that's also part of us. You can actually kind of see where I spread seed over the top. And so as I'm pulling um, these, the seed will drop to the ground. And hopefully the sun and the rain will be able to get to the seed. And hopefully it'll sprout. But that's part of, you know, managing this property and making it more healthy is pulling this stuff, you know, and going through our pastures and trying to rid of the bad stuff. For and those of you that are gardeners, you know, mint is very, very, very happy and invasive. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know, mint needs to be planted in a container. Um, and of course, this is wild mint, I think, unless... You know somebody at some point planted mint out here um which i highly doubt uh i think it's wild mint we have a lot of like we have wild mint we have i have found wild rhubarb i've got blackberries down there so we have a lot of wild things here which is really cool um but the animals don't like the mint um and rhubarb is actually toxic uh, everything but the stalks are toxic uh so i have to pull the rhubarb too but um so i'll come out i don't have time right now i want to get breakfast out but uh i'll come out when i get off work this afternoon and pull that little patch the other thing that's nice about me doing these little sections is like it's just one little section for me to seed and it's just one little section for me to go out and pull the mint that's it's uh it makes a very very large task into a smaller more manageable one uh, that i'm like oh okay i can go out and do that in 15 minutes which it usually takes longer but <laughs> i can tell myself that and you know slowly but surely we are improving this property and the pastures and everything about it yeah, i wonder if i can reach, I think I can reach grace from here Grace, breakfast. It's time to go to work. And look what is happening. The hay field's getting cut. That's exciting. See what I mean, you guys? We never take a break around here. So you know that saying, make hay while the sun shines? There's, there's a reason for that. Um, you can't, good Lord, I am so sweaty. What do I always tell you guys? It's the real, real, real here. Um, so make hay while the sun shines, just a little tidbit for those of you who don't know. Um, you can't bale hay when it's wet if you don't want it to go moldy. And you don't want your hay to go moldy because if you're putting it in a barn, and it goes moldy it can actually start to ferment and start off fire and uh, it gets too hot starts a fire and it can burn your barn down and for horses and you know most people they just don't want rain on their hay so we make hay while the sun shines we cut the hay when we don't have rain for the next five days or so um, and it's always a guessing game for farmers on when to cut the hay so that the hay doesn't get rained on so for those of you who don't know, that's where that saying came from. And we don't have rain for, um, I don't think until Wednesday um, or Thursday. So hence the reason why they're, they're coming out and they're cutting now. And it's wet, uh, but we had to wait because we just have had rain and rain and rain and rain and rain. And so it's, it's probably a little bit overdue, maybe. I don't know for sure, I let him decide. Um, I have a wonderful rancher neighbor that comes over and cuts my hay for me and I'm so blessed uh, to call his family, his wife especially, my friend. Um, so anyway, here it is Memorial Day and he's over here cutting my hay. 
Lots of gratitude today, you guys. All right, work all done. Look at that hay field. That's exciting. It's all cut. I'm not sure when they'll come bale it. It was pretty wet, so we will see. Well, hi, Hops. You kind of blew right in there, didn't you, buddy? All right, let's go let your sisters out. Check on all the kids. See if they're all having a good day. Hi, Grace. Yep, everybody looks like they're happy. Standing up here in the shade. Yes, ma'am. Hi, hey, baby girl. How are you? You good? Huh? Standing up here in the shade? Yeah? Alright. Mags, were you checking the bark on that tree? Oh, good. Alright. I'll be right back out, you guys. I need to go get out of my hairy clothes. I'll be right back. Okay. I am changed. I am back here in the pasture, uh, and I am going to pull this mint. Chance, what's the deal, buddy? Huh? He's being weird. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but remember what I said? I said, you know, I always think it's going to take like 15 minutes. So let's see how long it takes me. It is 3.56. He must have a bug or something. A fly. All right, there it is. There's the side of the fence pulled. 401, 402. So, didn't take me much time at all. Oh, this is all right here. So this is what it looks like. And there's my overall load. So, that is great. That is progress. Check time. Let's get you guys taken care of. And turn your fan off for just a minute. Let's get you guys some food and some water. How's that sound? Yeah, you guys are big. You get to go out tomorrow. Yeah. You get to go out tomorrow. Okay. Nobody panic now. Here is fresh food. There you go. Alright, let me get your water. Oh boy. Let me get it. Oh boy. Okay. Let me get you some clean water. Alright, babies are taken care of. I'm gonna go do the big chickens and uh, then get to clean installs and doing the rest of my chores. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I hope that you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend and that, uh, again, that you are thankful. Um, and, you know, for I know that there are some people that are not in the United States and you don't celebrate our holiday. So um, I do what you do. I hope it was a great day for you. Um, but for us here in the United States, I hope that everybody... Uh, bowed their head and said a little prayer for the ones that have fallen um, and also for the people that were affected in uh, in the tornadoes this season. The tornadoes have been real this season. Um, so we'll catch you guys on the next one. I hope that you have an awesome rest of, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Yours truly. <laughs>